2007 was another record year of enrollment at Grand Valley State University with more than 23,000 students. This is the 25th year in a row Grand Valley has enrolled more students than the year before. This fall's best ever freshman class has an average GPA of 3.57 and an average ACT score of 24.2. This freshman class was limited to just more than 3,500 students. Nearly 900 qualified freshman applicants were turned away to manage growth and avoid additional expense, especially during the state's budget crisis. I believe deeply in higher education as a public investment not solely as a private benefit or a consumable. But while the state struggles, the students that we have are here. They're here, and they're part of Grand Valley's continuing success story. Okay, are there any things that you're struggling with? I just learned so much beyond just the book stuff, just how to take charge of, of my life and, and situations that I'm in. I've soon found that if you teach these subjects with passion and if you show students how this is incredibly relevant to their lives, that they embrace this idea. The idea being embraced is general education, a cornerstone of Grand Valley's liberal education philosophy. So what level is this? A broad range of courses are required, no matter what the students major. Students learn critical thinking and communication skills. And I've had history courses, philosophy, a theater class. And I, I can take all of that in and make, be a better nurse. Be hearing that. Grand Valley's Michigan Alternative and Renewable Energy Center powered the future when it announced its project to turn animal waste into energy had reached a milestone. It found a farm in Ravenna to host it. The biodigester will turn the waste into methane gas that will eventually be used to create electricity and heat. And this is also about Grand Valley State University. They had the vision to, to be audacious and get into renewable energy. Imagine that. I mean, that's so exciting. The biodigester is 48 by 47 feet. The big machine plays a part in a big job, getting Americans to understand the need to change energy consumption. That's Central America's mission. You were on trial for murder. There's a murder on a southern college campus. It involves a love triangle, and the women's basketball team. Action. Grand Valley's summer film project chose to produce To Live and Die in Dixie. This is the 13th year that Grand Valley students have a hand in producing a film, but this is the first ever feature-length motion picture. It allows students to work side by side with industry professionals in front and behind the camera. The director of photography is Hollywood's Jack Anderson. Actor Scott Lowell from Showtime's Queer as Folk plays a detective. Marcus Hendricks of Chicago plays the killer. Grand Valley's Anniswater Resources Institute recently marked 20 years of protecting Michigan's water resources. AWRI has two research vessels. They open up to all area students for hands-on learning. We serve a lot of undergraduates throughout the course of the year. They come as assistantships, they come as interns, and they'll work on a series of different projects and learn hands-on skills. 47.4 uh, degrees. The effects of the Annis Water Resources Institute are both immediate and far-reaching. The institution provides industry with the tools to prevent pollution, and it provides future generations with the resources to carry on. West Michigan has a growing and vibrant life sciences community, and Grand Valley State is at the heart of it. One piece of Grand Valley's contributions is one of the university's two smart zones, the West Michigan Science and Technology Initiative. Its tagline, where science gets down to business. The initiative bolsters efforts by providing resources that inspire innovation and move ideas into the marketplace. This is a, a, an opportunity for them to really learn about themselves uh, with hands-on experience. The Padnos International Center at Grand Valley State believes in the benefits of studying abroad. In my macro steps, this is my first year here. More than 500 students at Grand Valley studied abroad last year, and that number is growing. This informational fair exposes students to the many options and benefits of hitting the road during college. The study abroad offers uh, a background in skills that employers look for no matter what field a student may be interested in going into. Grand Valley encourages students to travel anywhere in the world as long as it's safe. Places like Ghana, Cairo, China, 
Wherever students go, they come back enriched and ready to share their knowledge and experience. We all know the song lyric, everybody loves a winner. The Grand Valley State Lakers are loved. Grand Valley won its fourth consecutive Directors' Cup in Division II. That means the Lakers have the best overall collegiate athletics program in the country. Football gets a lot of attention because of four national championships in five years. But there's much more. The Lakers tallied top 10 finishes in 12 of the 14 sports scored. Grand Valley stresses the student part of student athlete. More than half of all Lakers recorded a three-point GPA or higher. Lakers know how to win.